Okay, short video time. We're trying to make a fast clock display for our model railroad. The goal would be to have a little model sign that displays the time on the street side. Uh, the whole idea would be that our model railroad's running on JMRI on a Raspberry Pi. And this is just my test setup, but I have a JMRI set up on the Pi and JMRI runs a fast clock which is used by model railroading to just simulate time, but faster. Uh, it's like 100 to one usually, I think. So we want to display that time on this LCD screen on the layout. And I have this board here, which is connected to the DCC rails and is pulling DCC accessory commands off of the rails. But DCC accessory commands are just Boolean values, on or off. And so I need to get a time value over the rails. Now the goal would be to just use the DCC and not to hook up any external interface. Uh, we have considered LocoNet because on the real layout, we're using a Digitrack system. Uh, this layout is using DCC++, which is Arduino based. So we don't have that uh, interface available here. So what I'm going to try to do, and it's kind of a big hack, is to use 16 different DCC addresses. I have them 100 to 115, and each address represents one bit in a 16-bit value. And that 16-bit value is then converted to a time. So I can throw... Well, I can throw 100 and now we have time 01, so hours, minutes. So we can go throw 101, that should add 2, that should add 4, that should add 8, that should add 16, that should add 32, so that would be... Um, that's now 63. So of course it runs, rolls over at 59. So that becomes 103. Um, if we turn all of these off and throw what would be 64, that becomes 104. And we just go on that way and each of these represents a bit and eventually you get outside of the bounds of actual time so 32 is not a valid hour so the clock is going to roll over in jmri uh, when it reaches you know 23 o'clock probably or 2359 but so the goal now would be to write a python script on the jmri side that takes the fast clock value splits it up into bits and then sets these 16 different addresses all at once. And uh, that outputs it on the rails, picks up by the circuit, and converts it to display on the screen. Is it convoluted and roundabout? Yes. Is there a better way? I'm not really sure. Uh, this is just something I came up with while brainstorming. And my little proof of concept seems to work. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.